Welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got the latest results from Dell. I'm Corey Johnson, the Chief Market Strategist for the Futurum Group. This is the business story behind one stock on the move. That stock is Dell. The stock has had a fantastic move in the last year um, and yet selling off in these results. So what's up? These are Q1 earnings. Wall Street likes a beat or a miss, and this was a beat. So why is the stock selling off? Well, the Q1 results to me are most important because they're finally growing again. There's been an expectation that AI would help Dell uh, with selling servers and selling PCs maybe, and all those things are happening leading to 6% of revenue growth to $22.2 billion in the quarter. My goodness, what a great big business. Let's drill down into some little pieces of that business. I mean, this is called the drill down, why not? So $12 billion in revenues in their PC business. And I wanna look at that. Now that's flat on a year over year basis, but that business had been shrinking. Dell's telling us now that that's actually gonna grow and start growing here as they're gaining share. And as they're gaining share, maybe most importantly, at the most expensive PCs out there. They compare themselves to their competitors and saying that they're selling PCs almost double the price, of course, where most of the profits are, and that's good for Dell. But the server business, smaller than PCs, but really important because it's more profitable, and of course, that's where the AI is. So $9.2 billion in revenues, growing at 22% on a year-over-year -year basis. But uh, that, that division of, of Dell that has the servers in it, but their storage business isn't growing at all. The server business actually grew at 42%. Oh my goodness, fantastic growth in that business. But when the numbers came out, maybe the bulls were expecting a little bit more. Maybe they're taking some profits. Stock sold off 12% in after hours, although recovering a little bit during the conference call. For the year, the stock's up 259%. So maybe a little off the top at this point. Well, it is at the top because the stock has been doing so well. But some of their stuff they're selling is just amazing to see. For example, their XC9680 with 64 GPUs in a rack, a modular design of NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel all in the same rack with AI fabrics of Infiniband and Ethernet and Spectrum X wiring the whole thing together, uh, air-cooled. You don't have to install liquid cooling if you're building a data center. For those of you out here watching this video to figure out how to build a data center, use one of these things. They're amazing. They say it's energy efficient. But we got this really interesting look that we couldn't get from NVIDIA about what's happening with Infinia backlog and Nvidia backlog uh, of chips and what people are using. Are they using the, the H100 or the H200, the Grace Hopper, or even the, the Blackwell, what's gonna happen with a B200? We don't get to hear all much about inventory from Nvidia. We did get to hear from Jeffrey Clark, the CFO of, of Dell, about what customers are ordering, where the backlog is, and are there gonna be air pockets as we shift from the H200 world to the coming B200, the Blackwell world, What's happening right now? The answer is that customers can't get enough of anything. Here's Jeffrey Clark. The lead times on our product uh, varies and is complicated. We have product transitions from H100 to H200, outselling G200 and B200. Uh, those are customer allocated. So to say that there's an average lead time for our product is very dependent on the customer, what technology we're talking about, but in average, if it was just looking at the availability of cars, the H100 lead time is better. Those products are in full production. NVIDIA is meeting demand and they'll have availability of the H200 on schedule towards the second or the latter part of Q2. So it's in production as is the B200. So that's where the backlog slash lead times are. When you look at the composition of our backlog, it's primarily NVIDIA based. Uh, customers range from many enterprise customers to some large CSPs. So the composition is very much our customer composition. Um, we're excited about it continuing to build, continue to build every quarter. Our five quarter pipeline continues to grow. There's lots of projects out there. We're out competing for each and every one of them and we'd expect growth in both going forward. So interesting stuff about NVIDIA from the Dell call, why not? But I've got more for you. The one number that tells us a whole lot right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data 
thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So just reported Q1 numbers from Dell tell us a lot about Dell. They tell us a lot about NVIDIA. Here's what you need to know. $22.2 billion in revenues, up 6%. That is growth where there had been shrinkage. And who doesn't want growth where there had been shrinkage? But maybe more interestingly, the bite, the one number that tells us a whole lot, that number, $359,999. That was the price I found online for Dell Power Edge XC9680, a server with 2X. Intel Xeon Gold chips in it. It's got eight NVIDIA H100s in it. Um, a fantastic device, again, for less than $360,000 per unit on secondhand uh, basis online because Dell is selling these things like crazy. The server business just going great guns. Thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check me out on X at Corey TV. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.